What's up everybody and welcome to All Things Superman, where we simply talk about everything related to Superman, from comics to TV shows to movies and much, much more. So today guys, we get a big piece of news related to the new Batman vs. Superman movie that's coming out in 2016. If you don't know, uh, or if you're not caught up to speed with everything that's going on, you can go check out some of my prior videos. We've uh, been keeping up to speed with everything that's going on with the new movie. But if you don't know, uh, basically Batman vs. Superman is coming out in 2016. Uh, and there's been some major things that's happened up until now regarding the movie. Uh, and those things have just been kind of up and down, left and right. There's been mixed opinions and things about them. But today we get a new picture of uh, one of the most classic things that's going to be about the movie. And that's a picture of the new Batmobile or the new Tumblr as it's uh, affectionately called now. So today I kind of want to talk about that in this video, talk about, again, as we always do, talk about it objectively, talk about what it means, uh, what it looks like, get your opinion, uh, and we'll jump into it from there. Okay, so the first thing I want to say about this movie, before we get into uh, the, the topic of the new Batmobile or Tumblr, um, is that it, there's a, a very important kind of dynamic that's happening right now that's going on with the making of this movie. Um, from late last year or early last year on up until now, uh, there have been like rumors and everything that's going on about this movie since Man of Steel came out in June of last year. There's been a lot of rumors and stuff that's been going on about this movie. Now, it's had fans at really polar opposites of, you know, every, all of the decisions that's been made about this movie, you know, regarding Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, uh, just things like that. Who's going to play, you know, is Jason Momoa going to be Aquaman? Is, you know, the guy from the town going to now be the Flash? And all of this kind of stuff. There's been a lot of stuff that's going on about this movie. And I just got to say, guys, that, you know, for me, we're still kind of a year and a half away from this movie. Um, and what's happening is there's a lot of guys, I think, while they're, while they're releasing these pictures and stuff now, like, you know, the Batmobile and stuff like that, because there's these guys now with cell phones and stuff like that that's really just in Detroit where the movie is being shot at right now, just outside literally, you know, 24 hours a day waiting to get a, you know, picture on their iPhone of, <laughs> of the new Batmobile or something regarding this movie. Now, the problem with that is that, you know, if somebody gets a picture and put it out, um, that ruins the surprise for Warner Brothers in DC, you know, to give us the surprise. So, um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, bad thing to do that. So I want to encourage you guys, if you are any of those guys who are, you know, standing around with your iPhone, I know it's a lot to ask and I know in our, our time where pictures and, you know, things like Instagram mean a whole lot and, you know, you're the first person to get a picture of, of a Batmobile, it's really even hard for me to ask not to, uh, ask you not to take it or, you know, to do, because I can't even say that I wouldn't myself. But, um, I think now we're at that point to where, you know, we, get, we have to kind of start having integrity about the things we do uh, in life, and especially just, you know, regarding this movie, because one thing I do not want is this movie to be spoiled to me. I do not want to know the whole movie before 2016. I don't want to have, I do not want to have seen every aspect of the movie. I don't want to know what exactly everything is going to be, what the plot is going to be, who's going to be in the movie. I would like some surprises and some Easter eggs. So, but at the route we're going, I mean, we're getting everything from this movie now, guys. I mean, from rumors of the plot to, you know, people being in the movie and stuff like that. And I think what's going to happen is between now and then, you know, it, the, the excitement about this movie is going to die down from fans and people who are looking, you know, forward just to seeing this movie in general. Um, so, again, I don't, I don't want to harp on that too much, but I just want to encourage you, if you are one of those guys, if you know one of those people who are just you know, out to get pictures and stuff of everything that's going on with this movie and try to break a story. All of you news channels and news, uh, you know, outlets and online punditry and all that kind of stuff. Just let's cool out for a minute and let's, let's let this movie be a surprise. Let it, let, let it come naturally, just like any other movie that will come out that's not as big as maybe this Batman versus Superman. So, again, that's my spiel on that. Now, with all that said, on to the new Batmobile. Now, first of all, like I say, since we have gotten this picture of the Batmobile now, for whatever reason we've gotten it for, uh, we do know what the new Batmobile in Batman vs. Superman is going to look like. And I just got to say off top, guys, I love it. I mean, what's not to love about the Batmobile? There, now, to be fair, there has not been really many 
uh, Batmobiles in the Batman movies or any any comic movie or anything like that 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 has been shown to date, even the one from the TV shows and the you know 60s and 70s TV show, the Batman TV show with Burt Ward, um, even those cars in those movies, the Batmobiles in those movies were pretty fantastic. They were they were like you know they were cutting edge. They were cool. The Batmobile has always been a symbol of, you know, Batman's coolness and, and to have, a, have the car like he has. So now we're in this era where we, they've kind of upgraded this Batmobile slash Tumblr thing uh, to this new militant look, which is pretty cool because the first thing that I'll say that I like about this Batmobile is that the same thing that I've been saying about the Wonder Woman outfit and the Batman costume, Superman costume. Everything looks cohesive now. It looks like it all belongs in this this world that's being created uh, for this movie, and that was kind of created in Man of Steel. Everything now has this kind of dark, realistic. Like this Batmobile is is a is a car or weapon or whatever you want to call it. That's uh, that I can see a, a billionaire person uh, with a lot of money, such as Bruce Wayne, uh, and you know he has an ego alter ego as Batman, but uh, I could see a person like this taking money to build a machine like the one, like the new picture of the Tumblr we, we've gotten. So that's the first thing I'll say about it. I really do like it. I really like the size of it. Although there has been some speculations that the size that we see in the picture um, is not the actual size of the actual Batmobile, or it's not to scale in what we'll actually see in the movie. But still, either way, even if it's bigger, if it's smaller, or whatever, it still looks pretty good. Now, another thing that I kind of heard online today from uh, uh, a known film pundit wh whose name I, I won't say in this video, uh, but I do have a lot of respect for, for, for what this person does. Uh, one of the things that this person said was that the Batmobile kind of reminds them of the Tumblr and the Nolan films. And this person said that they basically kind of compared it to uh, you know, the same thing about having an ex-girlfriend, like when you want to get rid of this ex-girlfriend, now you have this uh, thing that keeps popping back up and kind of making, kind of forcing it on you, kind of, kind of, that's what this person was kind of hinting at. Now, one thing I will agree with uh, is that this Batmobile slash Tumblr does kind of resemble the Tumblr that was in the Nolan films, but the only way that the ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend or whomever uh, analogy applies is if you don't want this boyfriend or girlfriend anymore if they you're truly done with them they left a bad taste in your mouth they were you know they were you know stifling your life whatever the case may be that's the only reason why you wouldn't want that but if you had a had an ex-girlfriend or a, just a girlfriend that you don't have anymore that the relationship was wonderful that it was it was great it was everything that it could be and maybe you two just you know, for whatever reason, grew apart. Now, in a situation like that, that's something that I would compare more to what's happened with the Nolan films. The Nolan films didn't leave a bad taste in our mouth. They have been some of the best uh, movies to date. Uh, Bat uh, Batman, the, the second one with Heath Ledger, is arguably one of the best comic book movies of all time. So, I mean, you can't really argue and say that, you know, okay, I want this, the stench of the Nolan films out of my out of my mind and give us something fresh with the Tumblr. That doesn't make sense. It was great. It makes sense. Everybody loved it. It was innovative in the movies. It made it makes sense to kind of at least build something fresh that kind of resembles that. It makes sense. It still gives this cohesiveness to what happened in the Nolan films with with Batman. So uh, because as you may know, we're, we're getting this older aged Batman in in this. Uh, new Batman versus Superman movie. So that begs the question, what has he aged from? So the last thing that we've gotten is the Nolan film. So if we're getting a Batman that's kind of post Nolan films, that means that somewhere in the past that these, uh, everything that happened in the Nolan Batman films happened at some point. So it makes sense now to still have the same kind of Tumblr, same kind of Batmobile, at least something that resembles that, you know, even 10, 15, 20 years later, however older, Batman is from you know the Nolan films to this new Batman versus Superman. So again, I just wanted to bring that up about what was said about that because uh, you know it gets misconstrued a little bit. So another thing that everybody is is discussing or starting to discuss about this new picture of the Batmobile is the weapons that are attached to to the car. 
Now, we don't know what kind of weapons they are, what kind of guns exactly they are, what, what they're going to shoot. And, you know, some people are speculating, you know, the whole Batman is not going to kill anybody. So it's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, live rounds. It could be rubber bullets or something like that to just knock people out. Of course, we don't have any of that knowledge right now. We don't probably won't know that until the weapons get shot in the movie and see what they do. But despite all of that, we got to say it looks really, really, really cool. It looks like this car can, you know, basically be a weapon, you know, in a war. And that's basically what the Tumblr, you know, was built for. So it, it's a war machine. So, I mean, you could, it could go head to head with a tank, you know, or, or any kind of ground uh, vehicle that's been, you know, that's been a, a military vehicle. So that's one thing that I will say about it. It looks like an updated version of like something that our military or something like that should have. Uh, as far as the weaponry is concerned, it looks uh, it looks well thought out, like like an old aged Batman that we're gonna get in this movie would have wised up by now and made you know made the changes to this car. It seems like you know in the early in the early years of Batman, just like any of us, you know we want that when you're in your like 19, 20, or whatever, you want that cool car. You want you know uh, you know the, the the rims and all of it, the sound and all of that kind of stuff in the car. But as you get older, you realize, okay, you know, this stuff is not what makes the car. Let me get a really, really nice car, classy car, and let it be that. So it's probably, I kind of see that Batmobile, this new Tumblr, uh, kind of the same way. You know, we, we got the cool coolness now. Now it's, okay, now let me make this car more effective instead. And let me take all the cool stuff out. Let me make an effective vehicle that, you know, if I have to take on Superman, Batman versus Superman that I have now a car or a vehicle that can at least assist me in this way and not something that just looks cool, which it does look cool at the same time, but I think what it was going for at, more so at the same time was uh, more effectiveness. And I think that this, this new Batmobile has accomplished that. All right, guys, so the last thing I'll say about this Batmobile is kind of a, a, a vision that I have uh, of what, it, what these things in this movie should be like uh, versus the comic books, the old, uh, Superman series and the you know Super Friends and all that that kind of stuff. So it's what I, the one thing that I really like about it is that it really looks like, you know, from I don't know if you guys watched Super Friends or you know Justice League movie and stuff like that, but or, or mostly Super Friends back in the day, there was always this scene where uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, or or probably the whole Justice League, where you know Batman was kind of either running on the ground or he was driving in a car. At the same time, they show Superman flying and, you know, if Wonder Woman may be flying in an invisible jet or something like that, or she may be on the ground. But I really like that this Batmobile looks like it can do that. Like, if they showed a scene where this Batmobile is, you know, driving like 100 miles per hour down, you know, down the street uh, toward whatever em enemy they're going to face in, you know, Batman versus Superman, and Superman is flying next to it at the same time and they're all coming to it together, and, you know, maybe Wonder Woman is on the side, you know, whatever she does or going to, going to do in this movie. Uh, you can see that with this Batmobile. Like, it looks like a vehicle that can stand not only as a weapon that's going to be able to help Batman, uh, you know, bicker, because that's what I'm going to call it. I don't really think they're going to fight. Bicker with, uh, you know, Batman bicker with Superman. It's something that can help him hold his own but also an asset to help Batman when, they're, when they start fighting together, which they're going to inevitably do at some point. So, again, that's, you know, that's probably neither here nor there for you guys, but that's just like this vision of mine that I can see. And I really like that this, the color of the, the Batmobile and everything kind of fits into that vision of mine. So, it's, it's, again, in my mind, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so with that being said, I'll end the video here. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go do that now. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos, as I always do, uh, regarding this new Batman vs. Superman movie. Of course, we're going to keep getting news. We're going to keep getting things that's coming out from Warner Brothers in D.C. about this movie. And you're going to want to hear about it and talk about it firsthand. So make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Do that now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.